Hey, it's Steve and I'm back and I have a couple projects I'm working on this evening and I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm working on. Um, first project is to uh, add some additional weight to this uh, exact rail box car. For the most part, things just work a little bit better when the cars are weighted a lot heavier. They don't tend to uh, have derailment problems on switches and, and all that kind of stuff. And so these, these exact rail cars initially appear to be difficult or you know appear to be hard to get into in terms of adding weight uh, since there's no readily available um, way to sort of pop things open but these roofs actually do come off very easily and so that's uh, the main reason why I'm showing this tonight. Um, if you if you look closely there is a, a small seam right along the edge here of the roof and a car and that's really the only seam on the, everything else is pretty much one piece. Um, at least in terms of being able to take it apart and you can't take the bottom off and so if you just get your fingernail in there you can actually usually pop these off pretty easily um, there's not really much adhesive in there and you can kind of just pop it right off and in the past when I've done this I, I don't even bother gluing the roof back on afterwards you can actually fit it in there pretty tightly and it'll stay on and this way it allows you to get back in there. These weights here I'm adding are one quarter ounce a piece. So um, this will be just, it'll be uh, actually three and a quarter ounces of additional weight on this car. So it'll make it very heavy. But again, uh, for a small switching layout, I do like the extra weight. I do think things, um, you know, run better in general. When you, it's a pretty simple matter to add the weights in there. And I like to have the weights, um, you know, a lot of the weight over the wheel areas since that is what helps to, you know, improve the uh, uh, the general rolling performance of these cars. And, and part of the additional reason why I'm adding the weights is that these, the, the wheel sets that I have on here are the the, the somewhat more scale wheels, so it's probably a little bit difficult to see that, but, but they are, these are the smaller, um, they, do, they do have much smaller flanges on them than the uh, the more standard wheels that you might use. And so they, they, they look a little bit more realistic. I haven't, I haven't done anything to the wheels in terms of weathering them yet or painting them, but uh, you can see that there's a very small flange on there. And so um, that does, you know, while it does look more realistic, it does, for the most part, tend to make them um, more prone to derailments if your track work is not, you know, as good as it should be. But adding these extra weights does kind of counteract that a lot more, and it helps to uh, just keep the car on the on the uh, the rails much better. And so, even though you know the flanges are smaller and they're and it's easier to knock them off the rails. Um, you know, going through a, a switching maneuver, the extra weight, just, you know, just gravity helps keep them on the rails and, and things really tend not to derail nearly as much. Again, you can pretty much just fit this roof right back in there. It'll snap in. There we go. As long as you are careful with them, I think it does. It is one way to help uh, easily improve your rolling performance um, through, you know, switches and other track work that uh, maybe isn't, you know, exactly perfectly engaged. Um, since a lot of commercial turnouts are a little bit off and, and aren't, aren't perfect. And so if you are using a little bit more scale type wheel sets, it does for the most part, I think, help improve the overall rolling performance of them. Anyway, that's all for now and thanks for watching. Bye.